Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm going to show you how to use your dash button. So get your buttons ready and let's start the tutorial. So, introduction is over, let's get started. So, in order to prepare your button, we need to pair it first to your network. Uh, to do so, we have to press the button for six seconds and you will see it will enter the pairing mode. So, let's do this. The light will start flashing and while it's blue, like this, it's in the pairing mode and then go to your Wi-Fi settings and you will be able to find it on your uh, Wi-Fi list. It's under Amazon Configure Me. So we need to connect to this network and then open the web browser. The web browser should be opened on the, the IP address, which is 192.168.0.1. And this page will ask you to configure your um, Wi-Fi access. So you get to select your uh, Wi-Fi address and then you have to enter your password to configure this. So I'm just going to do it now. Once you press the button, the um, on well, once you press the button on the website, uh, the dash button is configured and it's ready to use. As we're going to be sending messages uh, to the PC and the mobile, we're going to use Auto Remote. In order to configure this, we need the keys. Uh, to get the keys, just copy the links from the mobile and from the browser and go to that website. In the um, section above in the address, you will find the Google keys available. Just copy them uh, somewhere safe. I'm going to use the notepad to do it. On the mobile, you would have to open Auto Remote and then just uh, use that link to get to the browser to get your key. Make sure you label them correctly as the keys aren't the same and uh, you don't want them to be mixed up. In this setup, I'll be issuing both uh, messages to the PC and to the mobile as well. Once we've got this done, what we have to do is just uh, open our Raspberry and start terminal session as there is few things that we have to install. We're going to need a module for Python called SKP. This will deal with our networking um, required to intercept the button presses. And the second module to install on your Raspberry Pi is TCP dump. Both of them we use uh, sudo apt get install command in order to install on our raspberries. Once this is done and confirmed, we can either go to the desktop of the raspberry or you can open a notepad and we can uh, proceed to create the code in a notepad. We're going to need two files. First file, so create a new file and uh, we're going to call it scan dot py for the python script before you start typing anything in the file just click on properties and let's allow uh, for the file to be executed by anyone the script that we're going to create it will be only used once as we want to find out what mac addresses our buttons have i'll be honest with you guys i'm just starting python and i'm very new to it so this code is uh, taken and modified from the internet what it does, it basically monitors your Wi-Fi, searching for devices that are trying to register and then prints its uh, uh, MAC address. When you're copying the code, make sure it's copied correctly, as Python is sensitive to all indentations. This code won't show you once running anything until you press the button on your um, Amazon Dash. Shortly after pressing the button, you should see the MAC address popping up uh, on the list. This is something we're gonna need to copy uh, to our notepad for further use. So I'm going to press the button now. I've pressed the green Amazon button so I'm just going to copy it all and label it in the um, notepad. If you have more buttons this is when you press all the buttons and register all the MAC addresses. Make sure you make a copy of them. The job for our script is complete, so we can close this script as we no longer gonna need it. We are going to create a new script. So um, as previously, just create a new file and change the permission to make it ready for scripting. 
You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, as long as it ends with .by for Python script. As previously, I'm setting the correct permissions so we could execute and check our script. I've already completed typing the script for this file, so I'm just going to tell you what is what and you will see how it works. Basically, it's something I found online plus something I figure out myself to make it work. We're going to be using two libraries, one's going to be a Skypey and one's going to be a URL library. This section of the script tells the Python to use these specific libraries for this script. Our next line is looking for the button presses, so basically scanning the network for ARP probes. Because I have two buttons, I'm going to create two if conditions. They will be checking what MAC address has been registered on the network. As you remember, we have them written down in our notepad because we used our previous script to capture what was appearing um, on our network. So what you have to do is just copy uh, the MAC address from the notepad and enter it uh, in the quotations. Do this statement for each button you have uh, registered on your network. In my case, it's going to be just two buttons. We have statements ready. This means whenever this MAC address will appear, a certain action will be executed. And to send a message to mobile or to our PC, we're going to use direct message from the Auto Apps Auto Remote to Linux website. This is the moment where you need your key in order to enter it in the string highlighted on the screen so your message would be sent to correct device. But before we do this, let's check if our um, code is working. So there is a command print that allow us to print the short command confirming that the button is working indeed. So if I'm gonna press the uh, green button, I want the script to print Amazon green. And if I'm gonna press the red button, obviously I want um, the script to print Amazon red. Be careful with the correct formatting of your script as otherwise the script might return some um, errors. Now I've got two variants ready, so all I have to do is just test the buttons. To make this script loop, to make this script loop unlimited time, we have to copy the last line. We have to save our script and run it. You can either control S to save it or just hit F5. This will prompt us to save our script and then run it. Now, if any one of you is very experienced at this, I'd like to get some help because sometimes I get this error presented on the screen and I'm not sure how to solve it myself, to be honest. However, running the file multiple times will allow you to execute the script correctly. If you press the button now, we'll see corresponding name displayed on the um, screen. I'm trying to press the red buttons now. Okay, so everything's working. Let's go and make sure now we can send the messages to our PC and to our mobile. We're going to create two string variables, one that will be responsible for sending a message to PC and one that will be responsible for sending a message to the mobile. In the double quotations, we're going to input the message um, link containing your key that we get from the first step in this tutorial. Your variables should be contained within the if statement, so make sure that the code is properly indented. Everything is ready, so uh, let's open the notepad and start copying our code. Obviously, if you only have one device, you don't need to do the other string. Also be careful what uh, messages you're pasting in to make sure that the correct message is sent to the correct device. At the end of that uh, message string, you get to enter your message. And uh, in my case, I used Amazon green for when I press the green button and Amazon red for when I press the uh, red button. Once our variables are set, all you have to do is just execute them. And this is code to use to execute first the um, variable responsible for the PC and the second uh, for the variable responsible for the mobile. 
I'm trying to run the code and I've got the error because uh, I accidentally removed the column from the end of the line. So I'm just going to click quickly fix this and I can try it again. Executing this, it should display Amazon Green on the shell window and also should display a message on your Windows and on your mobile device as well. If you get the error again, just run the script multiple times and you should be ready to go. Now what we have to do is just copy the same things uh, to the second button. The only modification here being is the message that we're sending. So we have to change Amazon Green to Amazon Red. Please make sure that everything is correctly formatted and uh, when your code is ready, you can start executing it. As you can see, all I have to do now, just changing the messages at the end of the string from green to red. So the correct button press would be recognized and correct message has been sent to uh, my device. And then I can test the code. Running code the first time, I get the same error again. And unfortunately right now, I don't know how to fix it. However, running it again um, provides me with the correct information. And right now the code will be looping constantly. And when I press the button, it will work. Let's test the other button then. I'm pressing the uh, red button. And after a few seconds, I've got confirmation that it has been pressed correctly. Obviously, by that time, you have a correct uh, key supplied to your code. I'm testing it now with my correct keys. When I press the button, the message notification display on my windows and also on my phone. You notice that I don't have uh, any Amazon red and green displayed in a Python window. This is because I removed the confirmation. And if you don't want them to appear there, all you have to do is just open your file and comment out a piece of code responsible for uh, printing. All you have to do is really put the hashtag in front of it or delete, or delete the line. So my ending hint is don't start the script just yet automatically until the error is fixed. If you've got a solution to this error, let me know in the comments or send me a message and I'll say take care and thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you're already subscribed, I'll see you in the next video.